This week on Tips and Tricks, five tips for playing Space Detective in Tacoma. We'll talk about headphones and co-streaming. We'll also interview Mixer streamer Hunks the Band. All this and more on this week's Tips and Tricks. Hmm. I'm Ethan Rothamel. And I'm Malik Prince. And this is the show that helps you get the most out of your Windows, Xbox, and Mixer experience. That's right. We'll give you tips on the latest features and tricks on tackling the newest games. Let's kick things off with five tips for the new game from the creators of Gone Home, Tacoma. 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 Where is it? Space. An endless black void, dotted with burning balls of gas, flying rocks, and who knows what else. A lovely setting for, oh, I don't know, a mystery? Fulbright, the developers that brought you Gone Home, have created a new story-based exploration game called Tacoma. You play as a subcontracted AI communication specialist named Amy, and it's your job to explore a seemingly deserted high-tech space station in hopes of recovering the AI assigned to this ship. But figuring out the mystery behind what happened to the missing crew quickly takes over your curiosity. The only tool you're given is an augmented reality device, but this tech lets you review actions and conversations from the past almost as if you were there in the moment. Intrigued? You're in luck. Here are five tips to help you solve the mystery of the missing crew. Tip number one, it's the little things. One thing you'll need to remember while playing is that this is a narrative game, meaning your entire objective is basically to figure out what the heck is going on. It also means that you're going to need to gather quite a bit of information. Clues can be found anywhere and everywhere, from a text conversation to a piece of paper locked in a drawer. So check all the things, because you never know where you'll find that crucial information. Tip 2. Scrub, scrub, scrub. When you come across a new area, you'll likely get an alert that tells you that there's data to collect. When you hit the prompt, a scene from the past will reassemble in front of you, complete with a menu that lets you play, pause, fast forward, and rewind through the entirety of the scene. On the scene's timeline, you may see different symbols. Each symbol represents a crew member. Pay attention to where they appear on the timeline because it shows when that specific crew member pulls up their personal interface. When they do that, you will be able to access their conversations, emails, and other information. Once you've finished gathering data from these points, a check mark will appear in place of the symbol on the timeline. The ability to scrub back and forth through these scenes as much as you like is incredibly valuable, not only for gathering info, but for things like snagging someone's code to access a locked door. So don't be afraid to spend some quality time with these scenes because you'll need every piece of data you can get your hands on. Tip number three. Hey, listen. Speaking of gathering data, dialogue is an incredibly big part of this story-based game. While the characters may appear polygonal, you do get to hear from the real voices which help add context and personality. To catch all the details, it helps to turn the subtitles on. You can get to those by going into the options, then selecting language, and check the box next to subtitles. Tip number four, personal quarters equals personal info. If you find yourself searching for something tied to a specific crew member, you should head back to their office or personal quarters. Both of these locations can be found in the same area as the crew member's assigned profession. For example, the medical wing contains the doctor's office and personal area, or basically their bedroom. You'll want to be thorough when you explore these areas. It's crazy how much you can learn about someone by digging through their stuff. Tip number five, enjoy the experience. There's no fist fights, no shootouts, and no real threats to your well-being. But that doesn't mean there's no suspense. Exploring the events that led to the space station's current state is addictive and exciting. The characters, their backstory, and their relationships with each other will capture your curiosity. And before you realize what's happened, you're completely engrossed in discovering the fate of the crew. Following each character through their own story in each different scene is incredibly fascinating. And watching how each of the stories come together throughout the course of the game will give you all sorts of feels. Tacoma pulls you in right from the start, so sit back and let it. Who knows what you'll discover in the darkness of space. Nice. It's like a, it's like a looking through people's stuff simulator. Yeah, I guess that's one way to solve a mystery. By the way, great voice actor, voice over actor yeah, they who, got for that segment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Was that you? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So you know what's not a mystery? Our top five games. Ooh, we're kicking things off with a poll. What top five list should we cover next week? Ooh, we got so we top, top yeah. five games with dogs. Somebody vote for that, please. Top five mystery games. Lights just changed. Ooh, and top five games underwater. That's exciting. Um, so, yep. Before we get into the poll, by the way, 
I want to say, this is our 10th episode. It is. Woo. Congratulations, I thought, I thought man. We're gonna get, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to leave me hanging. Nice Great, job, yeah. everybody. 10 big, episodes. Big shout out to Carlos and now Ethan for being awesome co-hosts. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. So uh, let's get, <laughs> let's start talking about the uh, top five list this week. Ooh, first off is the top five paid games. In at number five, once again, is Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Ooh, that was good. You didn't even look at the TV. I know. I'm just, wow. just a pro. Number, number four <laughs> is Rocket League. I'm going to try it this time. Number three is Fortnite. There we go. Got it. <laughs> and number two is Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. In at number one is COD Modern Warfare. Ah, no surprise that that's number one. People love them some COD, mm -hmm. as it turns out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Our next list is the top five most played fighting games. In at number five, it's Tekken Seven. All right. And I don't know if this is a fighting game, but number four spot goes to DC Universe Online. Yeah. There you go. They look like they're about to fight somebody. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. They're pretty intense in that picture. Wow. <laughs> All right. Number three is Naruto Shippuden. I don't know if I said that right. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It's better than I would have got for sure. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to touch that. Yeah. In at number two, it's Mortal Kombat <laughs> X. Oh my oh God. My we did it at the same time. Yeah. Let's try it's it one like more time. I just want to, right. one more time. Okay. All right. In at number two is Mortal Kombat X. Oh, uh, you were a little faster than oh, me on the draw okay. on that one. It's okay. We'll I get know. it. Uh, and in at number one for most played fighting game is Injustice 2. Woo! Superhero game. Two superhero games in one list. That's, that's pretty intense. Yes. Uh, during the last show, you voted for this week's top five. So here's our list for the top five game soundtracks. And this one was tough. We, sat, right. we sat in our conference room and talked about this for a long time. And I don't know that we even came to a true consensus. I don't know. But I don't this, was like, this is kind of like the culmination of five people's top. Sure. Yeah. But so. no Lion King. I asked for Lion King and it didn't make the list. So mm, I'm sorry, this man. list is not right. But we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Lion King is always number one. It does not matter. In our hearts, for uh, sure. Yeah. And then number five is The Last of Us. Great no, game. Yeah, it is. Super, Ooh. like, this game is, like, it'll make you cry. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you do all the things. Mm -hmm. And the music is, like, perfect for it. Ex exactly. It's, it's so fitting in every scene. Sure. Number four pick is Bastion. Another great soundtrack. Definitely recommend listen. At least, if, you have, if you're not going to play the game, listen to the soundtrack. It's great. Nice. I will do that. Mm -hmm. And then number three is Halo Combat Evolved. Mm -hmm. Iconic. Very iconic. iconic. Um, it could have been like really. All. I I lobbied for Halo one through five to be the top five. List. Like like just as a culmination. Yeah, because yeah, there's good songs from all of them. Well, no, I just wanted like Halo five, Halo four, Halo three, Halo. 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, but oh, people I decided against that, so that's cool. Yeah, no, Whatever. that's probably a good call. <laughs> Number two, uh, this was another tough one. Skyrim. Skyrim. So I think we had votes for Skyrim, Morrowind, and Oblivion. So Ooh, it was like all the just Elder like Scrolls. Halo. It was hard. Yeah, yeah. So it was Elder Scrolls. And the number one for top game soundtrack is. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Or Ocarina of Time, Ocarina we don't know. Time. There you go. Yeah. I haven't played that game. I was like five when it came out, so that's, that's no yeah, excuse. But that's no excuse. I know, I yeah, know, come I on. know. Surprise. I, and it's also been re-released like 37 times? I, know, I, I don't know. know. Like it's come out on everything and your cell phone. I don't play a game. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what the results are in. Next week, we'll cover the top five. Mystery games. Mystery, Mystery games. games. So All right. Dogs. We really wanted dogs, but oh, we're never yeah. going to get it. I'm going to get a Sherlock a Holmes costume for next week. For the mystery games? Yeah. Oh, what could I do? I don't know. What other, what other detect famous? Oh, Batman. You could dress up as a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> How I would you dress up as a magnifying I, glass? I don't know. That's going to figure out. Bring like a done? piece of glass and just walk around like this. Yeah. People are like, why is that guy walking around with a <laughs> yeah. glass? Yeah. What's hand? that idiot doing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's uh, switch gears here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to bring special guests to talk about headphones. Scott Weber. Scott, Hello. come on over. I'll move. Again. I'm back. Look at this hefty rack. Welcome yeah. back. Welcome back, man. Yeah. Please Ooh. browse just, my wares. <laughs> we're just <laughs> hanging out in this room all week. Just yeah. Like, yeah. I never left. He just comes out. They said I was still in the room. I never. That's. I just. I've been right <laughs> here. So. We should shoot it so he comes out from behind the set every time. <laughs> yeah. Just, just set like, up, Scott's set up, your turn. Yeah. yeah. Rub my eyes. Pillow down on the floor. Um. So for the people you were here last week. Yes. For the people that were not here last week, will you yes. tell us a little bit what, what you do at Xbox? Yeah. So I'm part of the partner hardware team. We run the design for Xbox. Oh, I'm wearing the T-shirt. That's perfect. Program. So we manage about 30 relationships um, with uh, all sorts of partners doing audio today. Last week was external storage. We talked about Seagate. We also do steering wheels and all kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, controllers, too. So, yeah, today just taking a look at some of the headsets that are coming out this holiday. Awesome. So let's start with this first one. Yeah. I like the green cables. Can I? T can yes. I? May I? You may. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I said browse the wares. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. 
Yeah, yeah so this, is, this is the PDP AG6. So some of you might know the afterglow line that PDP has had out for uh, a long time. The AG9 is what they've had in the past. It's a wireless, and this is just a lower-priced option. It's basically the same headset, but it's wired. It's nice. forty nine ninety nine. so a really good bargain. Yeah. And yeah. Super comfortable, I think, and it's got nice little inline controls there for your volume and your mute right there. So you show the inline controls. Inline. Right inline. Right that sounds like an ad. Inline. It's Hold inline. on. Inline. Oh, you just whispered in my ear. Nice. Got chills. Sorry. <laughs> you got weird. chills. That's weird. No, it's fine. There you go. Yeah. So the sides, do they glow? Do they afterglow? They don't afterglow, but you know what? <sighs> if you get version. the AG9, they do. They do? Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's the upgrade, huh? <laughs> All right, sweet. Next one's Astros. Yes, this is the Astro A10. So some of you guys might know Astro from like the A40 yeah, and A50. Okay. They have, uh, they're kind of like the Cadillac of headsets for a lot of people, gaming headsets. They do really cool Halo headsets, $200, $300. This is their first time coming into the, the lower end of the market, really. So that's $100, and it comes oh. with uh, that little cord dangling down there. There's Whoa. a mix right amp here. that plugs right into the bottom of your controller for all your volume and chat control needs nice it is a super durable headset that's why i like this thing this really is um you can smash that thing around it's great if you're playing me in fifa if i'm playing you in anything else then i'm gonna need the headset for the rage because <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna destroy that thing that's I'll awesome try my yeah. best um super. yeah it's good to know that's yeah. good to know yeah, yeah. i want to i want to know what they went through to test it like in this when they were testing the resilience of it they're yeah, just chucking exactly. it at just chucking a lot the walls, using yeah, hammers i think with this yeah. thing you need to be more careful about what it bounces off and hits than the actual damage oh, to the headset like that. that's right cool. yeah that's good that, that, that hasn't too. happened to me before i've never broken nice. anything right. um whole game at once yeah super comfortable Ooh, right? yeah it's nice yeah, yeah, looks good. yeah. yeah. Looks good. it looks cool too dig it yeah all right so now we get on to the the wireless stuff here oh. uh this is Plantronics Rig 800 Stepping LX. Okay. There you so go. So this is coming out uh, in September. Oh, it's not out yet. Yeah. So actually, the only one of these that you're going to be able to get right now is, is this the Razer. Right. It's coming up. Oh, I won't spoil it. No spoilers. Oh, no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, spoiler tag yeah, that. Um, everything else is coming out this holiday. So this is really like the latest and greatest that we have from this. So this comes out next month. I love this thing. Uh, wireless. The cool thing about this at $149.99 is every one of these ships with a code for Dolby Atmos. Oh. So you can get Atmos and use it right away with that headset. Anyone can go buy Atmos, but it's $14.99 for headphones in the store. Gotcha. This comes with the code, so you're good to go and, and try it out of the box. Um, if you are a lazy person and do not like to charge <laughs> That's me. your headsets, that thing has 24-hour battery life, what? which is really that's incredible. Awesome. That's Actually, awesome, yeah. yeah. It's really lightweight. Another cool thing about this thing, too, yeah. that I'll show you is that um, if you're a large head individual, which is not me, but mm, some people are, me. no discrimination, <laughs> uh, you can actually pop these things off and move Put it to move it down. be oh, a little great. bit wider, and then you'll get the perfect fit with this little swing band right here. So, yeah, oh, that's the I do have a large head. Yeah. There you go. I don't actually know if that's true. Yeah. It's super comfy. Feels good. There yeah, go. I love that thing. Really, really okay. lightweight. So, mm -hmm. that thing's awesome. Um, moving on, oh yeah, I should say too, with that thing, you also get, here I'm going to shout out my um, Design Lab Seahawks controller inspired. right here, and yeah. Seahawks inspired. <laughs> of course. Um, it comes with this audio adapter, just like the Astro does too, but this one plugs right in the bottom, and this, I love this one because it has analog control right there, so yeah. really, really precision control on your volume and your chat mix. Um, so that comes along with it. EQ settings, so you can choose your presets of the way you want to gain. Right. So that's a really cool I thing. I actually have that. It's actually really you like awesome. It? Yeah, yeah, being able to just quickly uh, change the volume and then the chat. Yeah, yeah. Volume, yeah. It's, it's a really great it's like one. A beefy yeah. attachment to that. Oh, you think that's beefy? Oh, Wait this? till you see Whoa. this guy it's right like a, here. Uh, a weapon or something. This, this? is <laughs> the. <laughs> it looks like a weapon. Razor Thresher Ultimate, oh. and this oh thing is that name alone. Yeah, <laughs> it's like intimidating. Right to buy. It is. Yeah. It's a thresher. It's very a lot of wheat fields and things that are happening with threshing. So this thing is actually two. $249.99. So this is your big boy right here. Um, yeah. It's also wireless, so this is the base station that it comes with, and so it, it pulls audio out of the back of the console through the optical cable, actually, and then gives 7.1 um, through the headset. So if you're an audio nut, this is a great option for you. Um, this thing has great battery life. It's, it's really good range, so you'll be able to game a long ways away from the console. Nice, so nice. so um, I'm running the kitchen, I can still talk to people, yes, maybe. Yes, absolutely. That's, awesome. That's nice. the most Re important feature. <laughs> Retractable mic, there's Ooh, that, all, that all hidden away. Fancy action right there. All hidden away. You guys should try, I mean, this thing is um, yeah, put it it's hefty. All right, here we go. It's a yes. hefty thresher yes, and... in an ultimate way. Oh. Whoa, I'm like in yeah. another dimension. Sealed in. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's it's super, I can barely hear anything. Really? But my, but my ears are very comfortable, so that's all that matters. Yeah, nice. All right. <laughs> all right. Give it a shot. All right. I'm going to try these on.
So good. So good. Mm. Nice it's one. actually super comfy. Yeah. 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 Really, really comfortable. That's awesome. So love the love the razor option there. One more time, the name. Razor Thresher, Thresher. Ultimate. Nice. Yo, Thresher. you gotta look at the. Don't forget the ultimate, it. right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. I like yeah, they didn't think Thresher was enough. Ultimate. Yeah, the ultimate. Ultimate. <laughs> okay. Uh, these last two here, it's it's really cool. So this is Xbox Wireless, which is something new that we have. So basically, what we did is we took the radio that's in the controller and put it into headsets for our partners. Nice. So anybody can use these headsets just like you'd use a controller. There's a pairing button on it, it pairs directly with the console. One time, forget it, pick it up, take it to your buddies, repair it with the console, there's a pairing button, it's super easy. That's awesome. Right, so no cords, no wires, no nothing. Um, this one's from Turtle Beach, this is the Stealth 600, and that's $99.99, also coming out this holiday. This is a little baby mic. Nice little one. baby mic, flip to mute. Flip to mute? Flip to mute that guy. Oh, yep. nice. nope, I can't. Oh, Look at that. I can oh. hear you again. Muted, not muted. There yeah. you go. Muted. Right. That one's nice. And there's <laughs> actually another version of that one coming out, too, that's uh, 700, still 700. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was $700. Yeah, $700. Whoa. It's like, <laughs> a pretty penny right hey. there. I mean, it's a Rolls Royce of headsets. <laughs> what? Stand closer? I'm doing the robot. You can't see it, but this makes me want to do the robot. Here you go. Oh, look it's at that. It's the little mic. Mics. Only uh, one of them comes with the headset, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. So this, yeah. like I said, this one's $99.99, and then they'll have the Stealth 700. That one will have leather ear cups, and then that one actually has Bluetooth in it, too, which oh, is cool. really cool. So if you want to take a phone call while you're playing, no interruptions, hook it up yeah. to your phone. Nice. It's cool. It's all my business calls. Want, of course. Want Here's your... Um, guy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are a new partner of ours, Lucid Sound. They're also doing Xbox Wireless, so same thing. There's your pairing button right there. Pairs directly to the console. No wires at all. Uh, this one... $179.99. You can see it. It feels really, really nice. It has gel-coated memory foam ear cups. Oh, okay. So if you're Sorry, like me and you get a little hot when you go in for a marathon session, for you. yeah, that's that's a uh, that's a nice thing. Oh man, those are. It's like laying on a pillow. That's not even a joke. These are yeah. super comfy. Oh. Actually, when I'd st when I've been staying here for the past oh. week, I've just been sleeping just on sleep those on ear cups. Oh, yeah. So I don't I don't need a pillow. 100%. or anything. I just go ahead and <laughs> lay my head on those. <laughs> oh. I fell asleep at the office again. Ooh, yeah. I'm liking it. Right? Those are nice. I'm, I'm digging Cushioned it. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm just going to put this in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. This, this won't fit in my pocket. Hook them around. Yeah. So that's it. Like I said, that's, a, that's the latest and greatest. Um, the Razor Thresher, that big boy that I put over there, Thresher Ultimate. Thresher Again, Ultimate. Very, very. Uh, Ultimate. That's Thresher Ultimate. That's, yes. That's shipping now. Everything else comes out this holiday. So September through the rest of the holiday, oh, nice. you'll be able to buy all these. And um, that's it. That's the latest and greatest we got from the program. Mm. So that's many awesome. awesome headphones. I mean... How do you choose? I don't. I don't even know. I know. This is this is insane. Well, I just feel like it's it's one of the hardest things as a gamer to pick your headset because one, it's a it's like it's expensive usually. Expensive, yeah. And I don't know. I, there's like buyer's remorse always. I'm always like, is it the right one? Did I buy the right one? <laughs> sure. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's it's a subjective thing. I mean, you just have to balance what's the right thing for you. I mean, for me, yeah. comfort is the that's the number one thing that I look at, and then I look for audio quality. And the nice thing with us is that, you know, buying a headset that has been run through our program, that's that's what we do. We make right. sure it's a it's a great headset. It's going to have good audio quality. The mic's going to work right. It's going to work right out of the box. So hopefully, reduce that buyer's remorse. Right. Yeah. And when you get it, you know that it's it's uh, validated by us, and it's going to be. It's going to be good to go. So all oh, these things great. are awesome. So really, right. whatever you like. Yeah. Well, thank you so Pick much for showing us. Yeah. Of course. Great. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. First guest yeah. ever that's been on oh two weeks gosh. in a row. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I didn't prepare anything, yeah, but you I can, appreciate it. No, no, it's great. You can just leave the headphones at the <laughs> yeah, door. I mean, and uh, we'll just take Yeah, well, it is a monstrosity, so I think I'll, I'll haul it out to... Oh, get out of the way. Don't the, have to do that. Are you yeah. sure? You Should just, I just, you just maybe one by one put them down here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 in this in this backpack right That's here. That's right. Just okay. open away. Great. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for joining Thanks. us. Thanks, guys. I'll awesome. see you. Ooh. Ooh. Make sure to bring his driving wheels next time. <laughs> Ooh. That's a little, a little scoop, a little preview of what's to come. <laughs> It's a, we'll it's a little scoop. It's a little scoop. Oh gosh, I loved it. All right. Next up, a demo of one of Mixer's hottest features. Co-streaming. All right. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Malik. Yes. Co-streaming on the Xbox. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I'll do that, Ethan. All right. Co-streaming is when you combine your streams and your chat audience with another streamer so you can stream side by side. Yes, it's really great for showing different points of views you duke it out in games like PUBG or cooperate together in games like Borderlands. Ooh, so co-streaming came to PC a while ago, and with this latest update, you can co-stream directly from your Xbox pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. So are you going to show us? What are you playing here? So I'm playing a little Grow Up here. 
cool game. We talked about it a few episodes yes. ago on, on the show. That guy looks just like you. Yes, thank you. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> uh, so we're going to we're gonna go and we're going to start our broadcast. So you, of course, you go down to the broadcast icon, select broadcast your game. And once it loads, you can uh, make sure that all your settings are good and how you want them to be, like your microphone, camera, and chat, and then just hit start broadcast. And just like that, you can easy see- Easy peasy. Easy peasy, bottom right. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go live using Windows G. It's all you press, Windows G. I come down to this broadcast button, loading. It'll bring you to this little cool square, and all you gotta do is go down here to start broadcast. Boom. And we're live. Super quick. It worked. Yeah. So why don't you uh, shoot me an invite to CoStream? All right, so to shoot, uh Ethan, an invite in his words. Uh, we can go down to, uh, go up to friends, and we're looking for a cool gamer 25 the here. The best gamer tag ever made. Because it's very, ever. very cool. Playing some Minecraft. And then you go down to invite. Invite to co-stream. Boom. Just like that. An invite is sent. And already I have it. You can see at the top of your screen here, if you're streaming through a PC, um, under the bell, your notifications where people follow, there's going to be an invite right there. 131 King has invited you to co-stream. All you got to do is hit accept. And boom, there it is. You can see the layout changes completely. He's at the top, I'm at the bottom. Here we go. Easy as that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Right? That's what people say, right? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you can also invite an entire party of four people to co-stream. So say you're playing Halo 5, you're playing some Slayer, and you all want to go live. Mm -hmm. Basically, from the party, you can just invite everybody, and then you'll all have your own stream all together. And one of the benefits of that is combined chat, yep. combined mods. Yep. And there's another thing. Uh, individual volume Individual of volume stream. control, yeah. yeah. So you can actually control. If you're sick of one person's audio and you want to listen to someone else, you can do that yeah. and mute everyone else. There you go. Co-streaming is fantastic. Uh, so that's co-streaming. Nice. So one of the things, when you stream, when you invite to a co-stream through an Xbox, you are, you are forced to use the grid system, which frankly is fine. But if you're looking for a little bit more control, you can jump on over to the PC here. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do different grids. So you're going to go up here in the top left of your screen to start a co-stream. And under your crew, you can invite Malik here, 131 King. And you can see the layouts at the bottom. You have grid, which is what the Xbox chooses. You have live sidebar, camera chooser, and mobile. Nice. So mobile is actually my personal favorite for a co-stream, so that's what I'm going to pick. Well, bam, invite sent. And just like that. Same thing. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Awesome. Uh, so that's co-streaming, streaming with friends. Well, thanks so much, Malik, for showing us how to do that and inviting me to a co-stream. I felt like I had a friend for once. <sighs> I'm happy to be a friend either. All right, co-streaming is awesome. Uh, let's go back to the live show. Oh, thank you so much, past Malik and Ethan. Yeah, Bring you guys right are awesome. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. They're the better version of us. You think so? The past? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so many experiences since then, a few mm. days ago. Yeah, just yeah. traumatizing and, traumatizing. yeah, it's been bad. Uh, Code streaming, it is yeah. uh, awesome. Everyone should try it. If you're not already doing it, 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 one, it's an awesome way to record your footage together and, and like, go back and look at everyone's point of view. And yeah. two, it's just, like, such a cool experience. It's such a game changer in streaming and, sure. I don't know, it's... I love watching co-streams. I think it's such a cool application of, of streaming in general. It blows my mind every yep. time. And, and like, I watch PUBG all the time, so it's the best to just see everybody lose their mind at the same time. Like, where's that sniper? And oh everyone's just getting taken out one by one, yeah. you know? Oh, oh that's, that's such good. So, so good. Um, when I stream later this year, I'll co-stream with somebody. I'll have to find friends. Will you co-stream with I'll me? I'll co-stream with you. Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Awesome. Uh, but before we go on to the next segment, we, yes. we want to plug a little video that we have coming at the end of the show. We do. I mentioned earlier that this is our 10th episode, so we're going to take a look back at our best uh, tips and tricks moments. Yes, at the end of this episode. At the end of this episode, so stick around for that. Yeah, it's going to be good. We watched it, and, and honestly, the 10 episodes, it's been great. You've done a great job, and everyone, everyone in the back, we already gave the applause, but this is really cool that, we, that you guys get to do this and that we get to do this now. It's, oh, it's fun. It's fun. Like, this, this is work. We get to come to work. Is it weird that we're like plugging this like it's like a 10-week relationship anniversary? <laughs> yeah, kind like, of. Oh, my God, it's been 10 whole weeks. It's been 10 episodes. Oh, Can you believe it? Oh no one else has ever done that. I know. That's okay. Um, <laughs> the producer the nodding his head, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, let's okay. move on. So speaking of new features that we just spoke about with co-streaming, let's talk about custom gamer picks. Yes. 
This is the first time the gamers on, on Xbox Live can post a custom photo instead of having to choose from the preset pictures or the custom avatar poses. By the way, you see me squinting? That's me looking at a teleprompter. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's hard to see, kind of. It's a fun way to customize your gaming and express yourself a little bit more. So we're going to demo this on the Xbox Let's One. Let's do it. All right, so from the uh, home screen, you just hit the Xbox Guide button. You're going to scroll up to uh, where you see a profile picture. Scroll over, press A, and hit My Profile. All right, once it loads, it's, uh, you're going to go over to Customize Profile. Whoa, light change. Light change. All right, and then scroll over to Change Gamer Pick. All right, on the screen, you're going to see a few of the presets that you have here, but you're going to scroll over to the right and select Upload a Custom Image. So on the screen, you have a, a few different options. Um, that, uh, so what you're going to do is go down to, we have ours on our drive, so we're going to go down to the drive and select Tips and Tricks Photos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here we have a few tips and tricks photos, including this, which was taken last week. There it is. Oh, Ooh, beautiful. Ethan with his beautiful oh, hat. That is the worst photo. <laughs> and me looking like I ate a lemon or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks like yeah. you're just trying to hold it back. Like, it's so bad. Um, so you want to make sure that the image, uh, your photos are at least 1080 by 1080. Um, and here you can kind of zoom in and out and like to where exactly you want, move the image. If it was a little bit bigger, you could move that. Yeah. And then once you're happy with it, you just select uh, Upload, and boom, it'll start uploading. Nice. Perfect. Super nice. simple, easy and to the point, and you can express yourself the way you want. Totally. And now we're going to erase that horrible photo with one on this computer. Ooh. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's got, we have better ones on this computer. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this through Windows 10. Uh, you're going to open up the Xbox app, which is what we're looking at right here. Same thing, top left, cool gamer. It's a little bit easier with a mouse. Um, we're going to go straight to Customize. And then right here, you can highlight over and click Edit. And at the top, same as the Xbox, you can choose a custom picture. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Here vocals. we go. And I like this one more. So there's a, this is our senior picture collab oh, we did. Wow, this is going to be a great picture. Yeah, Look finally at graduating that. high school. Look at that. Um, so proud. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this picture this close up. Um, <laughs> And we're going to pick that because nothing could be worse than the one you chose. Wait, what did I just I do? I know, I know. Oops. I'm sorry. I, I clicked the wrong button. This is how you do it, guys. You can do it twice. There do you go. Twice. Next. Next. I hit next. There you go. Edit your picture. Ready to upload and upload. Boom. So if you add Cool Gamer 25, you'll see this as our new custom picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. what could be better than that? <sighs> I don't know, nothing, better. nothing, nothing. So I was reading, I was actually, uh, okay, let me actually read teleprompter before I bring up this interesting point. Okay. Uh, right, you can also problem. change your club profile pics and backgrounds too. Okay. Do yeah. you want me to read my part or do you sure, want to tell yeah, you, you can Okay. Keep going, so what not. I have to say now, <laughs> <laughs> once Microsoft verifies the photo, it will show up on your profile and on Xbox and Windows 10. So make sure it fits within the Xbox code of conduct. Otherwise, it will get denied. There you go. Mm -hmm. So set your gamer pictures, people. Mm -hmm. why do not? it. Do it. They're uh, better. So we are live and re we checked it out in chat. Uh, somebody mentioned Spotify is on Xbox One. By the way, that's pretty huge because a lot of people have been waiting for that. It is. It is. So pick it up. I know. I like whenever I'm playing Overwatch or anything that's not PUBG, I jam to, to music because uh, like PUBG, you have to concentrate sure. but yeah i love it it's such a oh, it's the best yep. it's the best it really is so now if you're playing an xbox game and you want to play some sick tunes in the background <laughs> all you gotta do is throw on that spotify all right cool so let's let's move on time for five streams to watch all right kick it off malik all right moto is a mixer partner xbox mvp and co-host of the girl tribe gaming podcast a triple threat moto streams a variety of xbox one games all while staying fun and friendly you can follow her on twitter at moto streams oh there she is slaying in Fortnite. there you go all right let's move on to the next one rated m for a reason this salty streamer curses a lot but if that's your thing check out the rake is real he streams story driven game and competitive shooters all while jamming to gun, metal chat. if you need tips for arma br or PUBG, rake is your guy you can follow him on twitter Yay. at the rake is real one there you go he has a sick sleeve, too. All right, mm -hmm. well, self-proclaimed streamer, goof, and sometimes artist Chrissy is a variety streamer from the kingdom of Denmark. She loves exploring games in search of treasure and interacting with her community. You can follow her on Twitter at the Shiny Seeker. Oh. Also on that Fortnite train. Yeah, Everybody's man. Everybody's loving that game. I know. Everybody's super into it, which is awesome. Yep. Uh, Meet Ghost from Texas, the next on our list. A variety streamer that tackles many different games alongside his trusty alien sidekick, Waffles. In his free time, he uses his dev and programming skills to help fight cancer through video games. You can follow him on Twitter, at Ghost from Texas. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fortnite, once again. <laughs> once again, Fortnite. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next one. The Chill Zone PC is a new mixer partner who streams quite a bit of shooters, ranging from PUBG, Battlefield, 
Fallout 4, and many more. Chill and his family fo uh, found solace in gaming, and from there his passion to play grew, loving to get immersed into another world. He's a chill dude that also likes to get hyped while enjoying his casual memes. Follow him on Twitter at the Chill Zone PC. Yes. And uh, Malik brought this up earlier, but that totally sounds like a dating uh, show segment, which yeah. I love. I think that's great. So I think going forward in the future, you're going to see us with some themed stuff. Mm -hmm. Stay we tuned. We're forcing it down their throats. Let's do it. <laughs> there you go. You're awesome. Uh, so let's move on to the next segment. Those are five great streamers, but let's uh, interview another one. Yes. Um, we're going to be using Skype to reach through the internet and pull in streamer Hunks the Band from Denmark. Hunks the Band, there are you there? Is. Hunk. All right. It's a streamer oh, soapbox. Hey. How's it going? Ooh, he's got the beep it's shirt on. Long. OG. OG beep shirt. OG beep <laughs> shirt. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. He's also... O OG, he's, right? OG. Yeah, exactly, man. Nice. He's also got the B bands on there. You can see all these great you need another band because I have one right here, man. Jeez. If you want. How many do you have? Just throw it at the screen. Oh. Yeah, try, uh, try it. I think it's uh, the collection is starting to get around 25 now. It's, it's getting up there. Jeez, uh, man. But you know, got to support the community, right? That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's really awesome. So what should we call you? Should we call you Hunk? Hunk's the band? What, what would you prefer? I would say like like and many people just called me Hunk just to make it easier. Uh, awesome. It also boosts my, my confidence a little bit. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> sure. You know. Just, just call me Hunk. It's fine. I, uh, <laughs> I, I was going to say, where did that name come from? Where'd you get Hunks the band? Oh, that's uh, that's way back in the day. Well, I was trying to start out on Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I was trying to just figure out a name, and I wanted to be original. Uh, back in the day, I used the game attack Kato a lot, and there was like a million people called Kato on Twitch. So I thought, I want something original, and then the name Esteban just came up in my head. <laughs> and I don't know if it was from like some kind of show or a movie I watched, something like that. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I'm pretty good looking too. <laughs> nice. I love confidence. Fan, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. That nice. is so You're awesome. getting some serious hype in the Sorry. chat. The hashtag hunk hype. Hunk hype. I like that a lot. So you, uh, you, you mentioned, uh, you used to stream on Twitch. So how long have you actually been streaming? By now it's around one year and six months, like one and a half. One and a half years, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's getting up there, but not too long. Like I know a lot of people have been in this game for much longer, but, um, sure. I mean, I feel like yeah. there's, there's a lot you can pick up in your first year of streaming though. Like you learn so much, yeah, which is, which is definitely. really cool. Yeah. Learning is the best part. Mm -hmm. So uh, what games do you usually stream? Well, I used to be a, a, a lot of Verity, uh, games. Like I used to be a Verity streamer and stream all kinds of story games. That was my jam, just like figuring out different stories and, and learning about and stuff like that. But then PUBG came along <laughs> and, uh, that game, man, like, I don't, oh. I don't know what it was, but it, it, it just caught me in his net and I just not been able to stream anything else for, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. The you, past three months it's been out, right? Uh, you, you and the rest of Mixer, man, everybody is, yeah. is hooked on that yeah, game. All right. Oh, get on that train. How many chicken dinners have you want? Have you, have you tasted so far? Ooh. I think we're going around 40 now. Woo! Um, is that good? Is that good? <laughs> is that good? I, I've never, I haven't played the um, game yet. I'm I, waiting for it to come on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, like, to, man. I would say yes. I would. It depends how much you play. Sure. But that seems like a good amount. That's more than me. Oh. Uh, not that I'm any good at the game, but oh, that's know. my only bar to like gauge anyone on. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you to anyone like obviously uh, PUBG is coming out to Xbox very mm -hmm. soon. W if you were gonna tell a beginner this is their first game to drop it, they're dropping in the parachute, scared mm -hmm. beyond all belief. Give me, give me some tips for that player. Well, at, number one tip I would give was to try and get as far away from the flight path as you can. Uh, because going away from the fly path, you will almost make sure that there's no one's going to go with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will know that from the other direction, from where you flew from, there's no one that's going to be over there. So you can loot where you're going to drop down, and then you can just go the other way and just run away, far away from the players, just to get some loot done and then try and get into the game. Mm -hmm. um, because starting out, dropping just in high loot areas with all the other players, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for the game. I think that's a good tip. I'm going to keep doing my research. You're doing a great yeah. man. Okay. And yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to go in and people are going to feel my wrath, you see. You see? You see? That's my new thing. All right, so um, obviously let's get back to streaming. So I know uh, interacting with chat is really important uh, on Mixer. Mm -hmm. uh, is it hard to like listen to the game and play the game while also interacting with chat? I will, I will say like getting in the intense moments, that's when it gets really tough to actually start interacting with chat. But um I will I will say like you have the, the nice thing about the game is that when you, once you're done with the game and you're loading in and you're just starting looting and stuff like that, you have lots of time to look over a chat and interact with your community. Um, so that's not much of a problem and people don't expect you to interact 
when you are going for that top 10. Um, so that shouldn't be any problem at all. Wow, awesome. At least for me. Yeah, at least for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pepper that in. That's awesome. Uh, Hunk, I know you are great at the whole uh, mixer raids that have become so popular on the site. So I, another, I think people struggle with that and like a little bit of confusion there, how they handle them. Some people like have never been raided and they freak out. So uh, if you could give us some tips for streamers when it comes to raids and raiding, maybe? Yeah, of course. Uh, I love raiding newer streamers as well. Uh, but one thing I've found and one thing I've, I've seen a lot of is if you raid a new streamer that's maybe only streamed for a couple of months, a week, haven't been raided before, they don't know what to do once they see like 20 people start spamming mm -hmm. one kind of raid call, you know. Um, if they already know what a raid is, like one, the biggest advice I can give is to have some kind of video, some kind of picture, something a little bit to to go away from you and not have the focus on you, but have a little bit of focus on just a picture saying welcome raiders or mm -hmm. a little video just welcoming all these people coming in because that gives you a time to shut off your webcam, take a deep breath, and then get ready to to talk to all these new people that come in. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a, a big thing for me when I started out streaming and got my first raid. Like I had no idea what to do and I was just sitting there. I was like, who do I talk to now and, <laughs> and how do I catch myself here, you know? Um, so, so that's my biggest advice. That's a good tip. Yeah, right I was there. just saying that's that's awesome advice. I I didn't even think about that. And like honestly, it is. It's so much energy. You know, you want to be hyped. You want to be. You know, you want everyone to get excited that they're coming to your stream. So that's cool. It gives yeah, you like, a I, moment to be like, okay, here we go. Exactly, exactly. I'm not trying to like say that you should shut down the raid either. The picture is just going to be like a little with a little music or a little jingle or something mm -hmm. that just give people the the welcoming feeling that they want from a raid, right? Um, and and yeah. So you just take a little bit of focus away from yourself and then go back to yourself afterwards. Nice. That's I'm going to be awesome. the best streamer ever when, when it comes time this fall when I stream. <laughs> I'm going to be the best. All these tips are great. All right. So we talked oh, yeah. about chicken dinners earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. now this question is going to be a little weird, but it's fine, right? Tips and tricks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tips and tricks. Plug the show that Boom. we're doing. Um, so say this is your last dinner, last actual dinner. Uh -huh. What are three video Wait. game characters that you would invite? Like last Actual dinner in real Actual life? Actual dinner. Ever. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, okay. Jeez. Uh, well, damn. One thing I would do is... Um, oh, shit, man. You put me on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the main character for Wolf Among Us, I would love to have uh, that detective oh, in there. I don't Bigsby. even remember. Is it? He's Bigsby. just called Bigsby. Yeah, Bigsby Wolf. Uh, I love that guy there just to have some, some hard face on there and, and to say the night is done when the night is done. <laughs> nice, nice. Um... Who else would have won there? Two more. Uh, geez, dude. It's a hard I'm question. I'm good at this. Yeah, it is. Maybe like, Man. Maybe like um, one of the PUBG uh, characters. The I, know PUBG characters. I know they're not. <laughs> I know they're not characters. Now I feel embarrassed. No, 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 Goodbye. no, no. That's fine. No, no worries. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take my PUBG character. He looks, he looks fly with the new white suit I got for him. So yeah, mm, yeah, sure. I'll take there I'll take him for the dinner. Awesome. Um, yeah, maybe, I, I don't have I don't have a third one. Like I'm not good at, at remembering names wow. for, for That's for cool. Games. I can I can come to the dinner, right? Am I invited to the dinner? Yeah. Dude, dude come along, man. We'll co stream it. There you awesome. go. There's another yeah, friend co to co stream yeah. with. Nice. There you go. Nice. Oh man, we're gonna have the best co streams ever. That is awesome. Hunk, uh thank you so much for coming on the show, man. It, always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah man. Where, where can people sure, find you? Fantastic. Yeah. Where can oh, people they find can find you? me on mixer.com slash hunks the band or twitter.com slash hunks the band. Or nice. everything's called hunks the band. <laughs> Perfect. Uh and you can see the schedule right there. I can see, it's bam. Oh. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that was perfect. Finger point. Yeah, point exactly. I always do the thing where I'm not sure which way it goes. Dude, like, my, my fingers, my fingers are on point. Oh. All right. So. <laughs> on point. There you well, go. Thanks again, man. Also, thanks, Hunks Band. Yeah, we'll see you later. Yo, see you guys. Oh man. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Fingers, fingers, uh, fingers. No, those are, that was actually great advice. What an awesome streamer. That was yeah. that was great. That was that really was, good. That was fantastic. And speaking of quality. We put together a quick collection of our greatest hits. Yes, this is great. The show has changed so much. And uh, also now I'm here. Now you're uh, which here. Is, which is interesting. Um, yeah, yeah thank the, you. I'll be the only one clapping. That's okay. That's I only care if you clap. That's all that matters. Oh, my heart. Oh. Um, but yes. <laughs> so be sure to check out, before the video, be sure to check out our next episode of Tips and Tricks next and every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And keep up with updates at twitter.com slash watchmixter.
As always, check out our sister show this week in esports on Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Somebody put that in the teleprompter. They did. They did. have some talks. Anyway, and the Gears off-season special this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Mm. Also got to shout out the PUBG tournament at the New York City Microsoft Store this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. You can watch it at Mixer.com slash Microsoft Store. I'd also like to add Mixer.com slash Microsoft Store. Mm. I don't think I said that right. Um, I'd also like to add that I'm getting roasted a little bit in chat because of my prompter skills. But honestly, this you is know, much I better. I think you did better than me. Uh, I, I was, don't know. I was struggling a bit. I don't know. I, I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm just proud that I didn't bomb as bad as last week. So it I feels think, good. It feels I good. You did a good job. Chat, come on. Be yeah. nice. <laughs> it's, it's like um, cute people. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right here on Mixer.com slash Channel One. Enjoy the video. See you next week. Peace out, guys. On this week's episode of Tips and Tricks, five tips for being awesome at prey. Ethan is getting a lot of love in the chat room right now. Who's talking? Thank Ethan's you. getting love. Okay, everyone loves Ethan. I told my yeah. mom I'd be on this. So oh, hi, mom. It's just go. that. Hey, mom. We okay. need to address the elephant in the room. Whoa. Is there an elephant? No, there's no elephant. Oh. It's your mustache. What's going mustache. on with it? Wait a minute. I'm you don't even have a shirt on. I don't have it. I'm getting ready for when I do have a shirt. Boy. Yeah. Oh. Carlos. You just... just it's I'll leave. I'll go. Personally, it's great being part of the Mixer community. I'm going to get that mustache off you. Oh. Come on. Oh, Ethan, no, 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 no. Do uh, not do that. See, Must guys, get mustache it. off person. I guess he didn't want to talk. And now this is the part of the show where we dance. Uh, sit dancing. down. Be humble. Is sit it, down. Is this a thing? This is not a thing. Be humble. There is no spinners. It's a mixer thing. It doesn't matter. They're not on the set. Can you are you ready to get into character of being sad? Should we do this? What we just saw? I'm ready. Yeah, of course I'm ready. Cool. Now you have tears. That's... Now I'm crying. See? But This Week in Esports thinks that they might be the top show on Mixer. All I have to say is... Nice. Bam! I'm actually playing Halo 5 Guardians. Oh, uh, stop me if you've heard that, that before. That doesn't count. I love that game. Love that game. Oh my goodness. Did you, you bought that, right? I did buy it. I still haven't played it yet. Too much Halo 5. Oh my goodness, this guy doesn't play any games. What have you been playing? Halo. Halo, that's not a surprise. One time I, uh, I wanted to like um, kill one of the Sims. Yeah. So I put him in like in the middle of the room and I put all these couches around him. And like oh. these, and he couldn't get out. So he like beat himself and Carlos, died. No, no, you can't, you can't do that. And this is the show that helps you get the most out of your Xbox, Windows, and Mixer experience. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got here, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Rothamel. Hey, okay. Thank, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> there you go. All games have that one order, uh, underwater level. Yeah. And yeah. That's my least favorite level. Because then you have to worry about breathing. You have to go back. Is there whole, an underwater level in Halo? I feel like that's the only one you would know. There's a. Oh, snap. <laughs> there you go. I, that's like a MOBA. Um, I've actually played the game when it was in, beta, in game preview or beta. And. Here we go. The hat on. You're going to have to wear the hat now. Ed's already laughing. He's already <laughs> laughing back there. It looks great. That's that good. looks better on That's you than good. me. Well, Jade, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Jade, if for you... stopping by. This has been awesome. Yeah. I want that back later. Yeah, well, you won't get it because I look fabulous. <laughs>